this is one that kind of sticks with me, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, what was it? Okay, yeah. So on uh, Bioshock 2, we had a crash. We had like a, a very rare reproducible crash on um, in the, it was just like it would just crash in some SPU code on PS3. Just, just randomly. Okay. It just like for no reason, right? And, uh, and we try to run some tests to figure out exactly why where it was crashing, and we nailed it. We narrowed it down to it was the the physics system it was like the havoc physics system it was running some stuff in SPU. Um, and the interesting thing about it was like after debugging it for like literally weeks, like figure, try to find it for weeks, uh, it kind of came down to. Hey, it's really weird that they're they're doing a DMA into a memory location, and at the end of the D, like like the DMA, they only need about maybe twenty bytes or something like that. But they're uh -huh. doing a full one hundred twenty eight byte DMA, and a after the twenty bytes, like in memory, there's a whole bunch of like uninitialized memory after it. Like this looks really weird. Like what's going on here? Because like yeah. they should have. There should be space for this much memory, right? Yeah. But it turned it turned out that they actually only allocated the twenty bytes, like on on the main thread. They only allocated the twenty <laughs> bytes, and if that twenty bytes happened to be at the end of a page, it would if they did the one hundred and twenty eight byte DMA, it would go over the end of the page and into an uninitialized page, which would cause uh, a memory fault on the <laughs> right. So yeah. So finding bugs like that really really sucks. So yeah, and that was literally that was literally like two weeks, two or three weeks of like just trying to find that. It was, it was impossible, and also because their code is somebody else's code, and yeah. their code is all optimized, no symbols. So just reading the assembly, trying to figure out what was happening, it was it was crazy. So yeah, there you go. Did did, did you guys <laughs> ever did you send that back to Havoc and say, hey, what what the hell? Oh yeah, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. Like what the hell is this, All right? But uh. But it was also like it was kind of weird because most people when they allocate memory, like most engines, have all of the memory, um, all the pages are actually valid pages. Uh -huh. So even if you had that kind of a situation, you would just basically DMA in data that you don't, you didn't really even read or need, and it's just a read. You're not writing, yeah. so it's kind of it's kind of harmless in most cases. But because we're doing the virtual memory system in uh, Bioshock, we actually had pages that were not initialized and and not actually active pages in memory. And so it would cause that problem. Right. Cool. Uh, that, that, that's definitely interesting to find. <laughs> <laughs>